hey what up decisive marketers if you run a website uh, pretty much everyone who is watching this channel probably manages a website somehow uh, we all need to deal with our tracking scripts, our um, chat support widgets, our analytics uh, scripts, our um, website verification codes, and many more. And one of the uh, the good ways to easily insert the scripts is to you know insert a plugin. Uh, you know, there's a free one by WP Beginner. It's called Insert Header and Footer Codes, and um, of course some of your teams also allow you to add these custom scripts but however a lot of times uh, you know you can't activate or deactivate them on certain pages on certain devices and uh, it becomes difficult to manage as well because uh, you got to copy and paste those scripts right um, what if you can just remember just like okay this is this script is this this piece of code is for the script um, and you can easily add them into your pages and you know decide when to show them um, and that's what today's plugin is all about it's called um, header footer code manager pro and it allows you to better manage uh, when these scripts are going to appear or uh, not load up on certain pages certain devices and so on so before i dive in be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in the, sorry my bad um so here we are in uh header footer code manager pro this uh, plugin is awesome uh because what it does is that you can set conditional rules right so you can set um, that the code only appears on certain post types pages or posts or categories or tags and so on and uh, you can show that um, you want to show the code on uh, the body section or the header, header section or the footer section right or um, whether you want to insert a PHP code uh, you want to show the code only for login users or only for not login users uh, you want to copy the code you want to import or export the codes into different uh, websites that you have right it's easy to set this up all right and you can use it for a bunch of stuff uh, you know like your marketing scripts uh, your ad snippets your tracking pixels uh, you know like your Clavio tracking codes you can put them in your Facebook pixel uh, your Google conversion pixel your um, analytics yeah, you know your Google analytics your hockey stack scripts your Google tag manager codes your um, live chat support widget you know your intercom your drift uh, and so on your website verification code your font script your heat mapping tools like Plurdy and uh, Microsoft Clarity whichever it is you know you can easily manage it over here so um, I have added my uh, PC uh, you know chat widget right here and I'm going to show you um, how it works um, it's really simple right here so uh, let me just jump into the all snippets right here okay so this is uh this 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 is basically the app pc chat widget okay and uh when, once you click edit what happens is that uh you know you have the name to identify the code that you have and what kind of snippet is it is it a html snippet css javascript or php and where do you want to display this right whether it's site wide only on specific posts only on specific pages only on specific categories specific post type uh, tags or latest posts only or uh, whenever you insert that short code and then uh, it appears right so you can do that as well and you can exclude them from certain pages exclude them from certain posts uh, and where do you want to insert this snippet is it in the header is it in the foot uh, body or the footer and where do you want to display this uh, 
uh, when when do you want the the snippet to show up, right? Uh, will it show up on desktop or mobile devices or all devices? So you can set that up as well. And do you want to display it to login users or non-login users or all users? And uh, the status is it active or inactive, right? So you just need to paste in the code right here, and you will be able to activate this and you will be able to see this uh, snippet uh, this code right here this chat widget right here and uh, and pretty much uh, that's what it is uh, you can also export the snippets and you can import them as well right so if I just click on export file I would get a JSON file and then I can easily save this um, somewhere and import them uh, in whenever I need to install new codes right I don't have to uh, you know I can easily access this code I, I you know I, as long as I have the JSON file saved in the folder somewhere I can just easily upload them uh, and set it up on a new site very very quickly so pretty much um, that's what um this this plugin does um let me just jump in to okay let me just jump back in here to the all snippet here and you will see this short code right so this short code um if you turn this off on uh so um let me see so if you show if you select the short code only so what happens is that um, I can go into any pages and insert this short code and uh, and this is when this snippet would only appear on those pages with that short code right and pretty much that's what uh, you know header footer code manager pro does um, I think it's a very handy simple uh, plugin that you know helps you to manage your codes and uh, I think this is an awesome uh, solution uh, compared to using that um, other plugin that I used to recommend the insert header and footer uh, scripts plugin because it's uh, you know you got to copy and paste those scripts in and you know sometimes it gets very messy uh, and there's no way for you to set up any conditional display so with Header Footer Code Manager Pro, you can do that, right? And that's all I have to share about Header Footer con uh, Code Manager Pro. If you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. If you know anyone who could benefit from a uh, Code Snippet Manager 2, be sure to share this video with them. And lastly, let me know what you think about Header Footer Code Manager Pro in the comments below. And I'll see you in my next video.